Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your January 2020 love and romance reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and yes, of course, Venus. It is a love reading after all. Uh, cross watchers, you are welcome to watch. And I know some of you are not happy with me right now because I stopped doing cross watcher videos. But I'm going to be addressing you guys in this video as well. So as messages come up for cross watchers... I'm going to share them with you. All right, my darlings. So let's see what is happening for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, and rising. I feel like it needs one more shuffle. Then we're going to pull our five cards. Lovely, lovely, lovely. One, two, three, four, and five. All righty, my dears. So let's get to it. Sagittarius, your first card is Queen of Swords. You guys are not playing around. Obviously, this can indicate an air sign person, right? Um, air sign person. So you might be dealing with an air sign. You might be dealing with a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra. Or you yourself could be just kind of manifesting those traits within yourself, which is typically how I like to take these kinds of cards because we don't always know what somebody's moon or rising sign is, right? Somebody can come in with, uh, you know, uh, water energy, but they could be an air moon sign or rising sign. We don't always know that. And the way that I read in general, um, this is kind of like the foundation or theme card for me, this first card. So it tells me kind of what your theme might be in your love life in January. And Sagittarius Queen of Swords tells me you're not playing around here. <laughs> you mean business. And for whatever reason, what I feel in this energy, uh, cross watcher, if you have been arguing with a Sagittarius or there's been some back and forth or you've been trying to uh, pursue a Sagittarius, uh, prepare to get called to the mat. Okay, because I feel like there's some things they're wanting to address head on, right? So if this is like a newer relationship, they might be like wanting to have this talk about like what they expect and, and what they need in the relationship. Or if they've given you a lot of chances, they're not going to be in the mood to give you another chance, right? This might be the last chance. If you've been having a lot of back and forth with somebody, this may be like the last try or last effort there. Uh, gonna be allowing because when queen of swords comes up it's really a very very um uh just kind of decisive like you, you're clear about what you want you're clear about what you're headed in you're not going to tolerate anybody or anything getting in the way of that okay and i'm feeling this for the majority of you keep in mind this is a general reading so the energies come in in different ways for other ones of you sagittarius and i feel like this is more applicable to the older sagittarius uh the more mature sagittarius the sagittarius who you've been there you've done that you've learned your life lessons Queen of Swords for me feels like it's coming in in the way where you are manifesting a partner that is stimulating you intellectually, which you maybe have been starving for, you know, like maybe you've just kind of felt like everything's been bubblegum or, you know, and when I say bubblegum, I mean like you chew it around for a while, it loses its flavor and you spit it out, you know, maybe you've just felt in the past that there just hasn't been a whole lot of substance with the people that you've dated or conversations haven't been very fulfilling. Uh, so for the Sagittarius that are a little bit more mature in age, and when I say mature in age, um, I will say probably mid-30s and up. Uh, maybe for some of you 28 and up if you're a 28-year-old old soul. Um, but it feels to me like, you know, you're kind of manifesting a partner or you're in a relationship or starting a relationship with someone that you are really really enjoying having conversations with where it's just like you know wow like this person has such an interesting way of looking at things and this person has uh really uh fascinating philosophies and they're very intelligent so for other ones of you i feel this is like an intellectual connection which is kind of turning you on a bit you know um but you know maybe feeling like you've found an intellectual match or intellectual equal cross watcher this could be something in which like if you're trying to get the upper hand in pursuing the Sagittarius if you feel like this person has like other people that are sniffing around them um, they might really respond well to some really good conversation 
Um, or if you're like, oh, all these little thoughts are all around, you know, and you might be feeling a little insecure, Sagittarius may not be looking for that. You know, Sagittarius isn't like looking for the bubble gum anymore. And so um, that might be a good in for some of you cross watchers. The next card here is the Fool, okay? And when the Fool card comes up, uh, you know, to me it's kind of a leap of faith kind of energy. It is a major arcana. So you guys have heard me say in a lot of readings when the major arcana cards come up, it's directly linked to your... Um, uh, like life purpose, life path, and there's a lot happening here where there's some kind of uh, a moment of growth and the Fool card comes up when we're feeling pulled or called to do something that might not be making a whole lot of sense to our friends and family and it may not even be making a whole lot of sense to us. But we're very, very drawn and we just can't seem to help it that we want to take this leap of faith and go in this new direction. And so I feel for a lot of you, you are getting involved with someone that you would never have in a million, billion, trillion years have like imagined that you would be with this person. Not because there's anything wrong with them, but they might be so very different from your type. For some of you, there could be a very significant age difference I'm getting. It could be a really, like, you're like, whoa, I didn't think I'd date somebody so much younger. I didn't think I'd date someone so much older. Um, or maybe you're a very uh, creative type and they might be very scientific or vice versa. Um, but there's the intellectual connection. There's the, uh, you know, uh, intelligence factor here that's connecting you all. Uh, and uh, there's this, uh, again, those of you who watch my videos, you've heard me say with the major arcana cards when they come up for me in a love reading or between two people, when I'm looking into two people, it tells me you all have a soul contract, okay? You've met for a reason. The Fool card came up for Pisces as well. I didn't get so much of the soul contract vibe for them, so I didn't go into that in the Pisces video. But I'm getting it for you, Sagittarius, and I really feel this is uh, someone that's coming in to help you expand your consciousness and vice versa. And there seems to be like a power couple vibe here where it's like the differences that maybe would have made you think that, oh, I would never go for that person typically. It's almost like it's complementing each other uh, so much that you both are accomplishing things you never would have imagined that you could have accomplished. Um, it's kind of similar to the vibe I was getting with Libra when they got the Magician card. Very similar situation I'm feeling here uh, for you, Sagittarius. So I don't know if you have Libra in your chart somewhere or if you might be dealing with a Libra. And, you know, obviously the Fool card is not a Libra card, but because it's like a similar energy to what I felt for them when the Magician came up, I'm just going ahead and putting that out there. Uh, but definitely, definitely, I feel like you are doing something new in your love life. Like this is a, a breath of fresh air, honestly. It's something you wouldn't have expected um, or someone you typically maybe would not have been interested in or given a chance to. But it just seems to be the right mix here. Uh, so cross watcher. If you're looking at a Sagittarius and if you're thinking, oh man, oh me, oh my, Sagittarius sure is dreamy, you know, <laughs> but like you might be kind of like looking at it in a way where you're like, you know, I don't think they'd go for me. I, you know, they might think I'm too old or they might think I'm too young or they might think I'm not like uh, distinguished enough or they might think I'm too stuffy and like not cool enough or not creative enough or whatever it is that you might be doing as you're looking at the Sagittarius. Um, I think opposites attract in a big way here, you know, um, <laughs> like the Paula Abdul song. Do you guys remember that with the little cartoon cat video or it wasn't a cat? What was it? It was like a like Chester the Cheater or something. Um, yeah, so I feel opposites attract here and it's a breath of fresh air. Maybe that's what will be the title of this video. Let's see. Next we have here. Oh, ho, 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 Sagittarius. Oh, me, oh, my. We have commitment. I need to say something to you guys right now. Um, this is a really significant major arcana card to have come up, especially in a love reading. And it's following the fool. So when we have big major arcana cards come in back to back like this, I, I need to make something very clear for you guys, Sagittarius. You might be aligned with this person coming in in January 
but they might not be showing up until February or March because the major arcana cards, they're not going to cover just like a day or two or a week. They're going to signify a period of time. So you might be making some decisions or some choices that are going to be aligning you with crossing paths with this person. Okay, so maybe you signed up for a class in January, but it's not going to start up for a little bit or uh, you're job hunting and you're going to land a job in a month or two that's going to align you with this person or you're making changes in your life and you're hanging out different places and you're getting involved in different hobbies and interests that's going to, you know, place you uh, in directly to contact this person. For some of you in January, it could be the person is here. You know, it could be we're all in different kinds of you know, places in our journey. Uh, but, you know, if you're like just tumbleweeds and crickets in January, don't be discouraged and think this reading doesn't apply to you. Okay, because these major arcanas are, um, you know, but I feel like you guys maybe already have contact with this person in some way. Uh, I don't know if there's been a correspondence or if there's, yeah, like I said, like maybe you're, you're enrolled for something or if there's like a uh, you RSVP'd for an event or something and they're going to be at the event or um, I don't know. My goodness gracious, my darlings. But I just feel like you are really closer to this person than you realize, even if it's just like I said, tumbleweeds and crickets. Now, obviously, obvi with the uh, uh, co commitment card, <laughs> with the Hierophant card here, this is commitment, okay? So this is like committed relationship. So if that's something Sagittarius you've been struggling with, where it's been like, you know, um, you've been wanting to manifest marriage, or if not marriage, at least someone where this is a committed, stable relationship, that's coming in. And again, like I said, major arcana cards, you guys all have a soul contract. So I think this is somebody coming in to teach you, you know, healthy, um, equal commitment. I don't know why I'm getting the Sagittarius, but I feel like for some of you, you have an issue one way or another about um, dating people or being in relationships with people uh, from your cultural background or your religious upbringing. Either you've told yourself you don't want it and you're completely looking outside of it or you really want it but you haven't felt like it's been possible. Like, oh, I'm too different or I'm this or I'm that. And and um, I feel with the uh, Hierophant card here, and I don't always get this feeling, but I'm feeling it for you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're... Uh, this partner is actually kind of, uh, you know, very close to home uh, in, in that kind of way where you guys did have a similar upbringing. You know, maybe it's a religion that you grew up with, but you left that religion or that kind of, you know, circle of people and uh, they had a similar upbringing or a culture, you know, somebody from your same culture or ethnic group and maybe you haven't felt welcomed by your culture or ethnic group or you thought maybe somebody in your culture or ethnic group uh, wouldn't you know give you what you needed in a relationship however i just feel like there's some sense of familiarity here now don't get me wrong i'm all for like you know mixing it up i i i think that you know the world becomes more and more beautiful as different kinds of people get together uh, from different backgrounds, different races, different ethnicities, different cultures. I think a lot of beautiful things happen when we allow ourselves to be open-minded and, and embrace different types of people. But for whatever reason, Sagittarius, I feel there's something here where you're going to kind of be surprised by this person. Like you weren't expecting that you were going to find someone with this kind of open-mindedness or this kind of uh, you know, uh, spirit or way of being or seeing things as you do um, within uh, this group that maybe is something that you did not feel uh, you belonged or accepted by, okay? Um, next we have Page of Wands, okay? So this is kind of confirming for me the age difference here, 
right page of wands you guys who watch my videos it's so cute sometimes when i'm doing uh the the private readings or when i was doing phone readings you know or the private phone readings to a big oh that's the card that you say this or that's the card that you say that so some of you already are used to hearing me say it page of wands is a card a lot of the times i associate with like a second adolescence where you're you're getting out and you're exploring the world and it's like a, a, a relationship that maybe makes you feel like you know you got the butterflies in the tummy like it's making you feel uh like a teenager again right or it's making you feel like that 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 puppy love kind of feeling but um in this dynamic sagittarius i am in that, in, in that don't get me wrong that could definitely very well be you know a, a big aspect of how you're feeling about this person whether they're coming in in january or february or march uh however i feel with the page of wands there is an age difference here there's an age difference here I, I really feel that for a lot of you okay um or if it's not a, a different um well i, I don't know if i want to say that <sighs> it could be where one of you is super experienced um, <laughs> and one of you maybe is not as experienced. There could be, I don't typically get this uh, feeling or this vibe, but for some reason I'm getting it with you, Sagittarius, and I have to share it with you. Uh, so cross watcher, this is something for you to keep in mind. You're going to have to be aware of this. I feel that for some of you, um, this is a per like one of you has like really kind of, lived life like you've really lived life in terms of romance relationships dating uh y one of you has a, a lot of partners a, a very long sexual history and the other person i i don't feel like th they're a hermit or that like they've never been with anyone but it's nothing compared to the other person so I do feel there's going to be a lot of passion here, a strong connection between you guys. But one of you is going to have to realize that, you know, this person maybe can't go from a zero to 60 a as fast as they can. So uh, Sagittarius, if you're the one where, um, you know, you like this person a lot and they might be getting really eager or really hot and heavy, uh, it's okay for you to say, look, I really like you, but like, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I can't, like, I, I need to work up to certain things or I need to work up to certain acts or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, it's okay for you to speak up and to say that. And cross watcher, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, that's uh, maybe vice versa. Maybe they're being really eager. Maybe they're being like, let's go, let's do this. And you're like, whoa, like let's do the basics before we get to the advanced stuff or let's you know like it's okay for you to speak up or vice versa cross watcher maybe you're just looking at like sagittarius like you just want to scoop them up and do all this stuff with them and they might just be like wow like that sounds great i'm not a prude or anything i'm totally open to that but can we please work up to that you know so if there's like a timidness don't immediately take it as like oh they don't know how they like me or they don't know if they're attracted to me because i feel like there is attraction here but this person needs like to work up to certain things you know and the ro the roles can be reversed you know the roles can be reversed but i just feel like that needs to be said which is really interesting because i don't typically get that vibe for page of wands i've been reading for years and i've never gotten that feeling from that card before but that's what i'm feeling in january for you guys and that feels like something i needed to say maybe it's because i'm doing the cross watcher along with this one i don't know but something to keep in mind food for thought next sagittarius we have eight of cups okay so after all this initial kind of you know uh, passion energy or this euphoria of this like new kind of feeling or sensation um we've got eight of cups which is um telling us that there's gonna be a desire for something deeper okay i feel for a lot of you 
what's happening is uh, there's an awakening happening within the relationship. So either this person is waking you up or you're waking up the other person. Those of you that have seen my love readings before or my readings in general, when Eight of Cups comes up, you know that I say this is a heads up from spirit that your wish is going to come true. You're going to get what you wanted, but there's something you need to know about it. Uh, when I see Eight of Cups, it's like maybe you worked really hard for something, you manifested it, you you earned your way into it. But once you receive it, you're like, wow, I'm happy that I have it. I'm glad that I have it, but I'm not feeling what I thought I was going to feel. And so you start looking again, like, well, wh what is the next thing? You know, m maybe it's my career. Maybe I got to hit some achievement in my career. Or maybe it's just because this person wasn't my soulmate. Or maybe I'm just somebody that I need to have more than one partner in my life y at a time or whatever. Like, you're constantly seeking outside of yourself for this thing that's going to make you feel full, right? You're looking for what's going to fill that void, fill that hole, so to speak. And really what it is with the Eight of Cups is this is a God-shaped hole. And um, you're going to have to or they're going to have to begin kind of finding that fulfillment, finding their higher power. Um, otherwise, you're going to feel kind of like, wow, like, gosh, it, it just it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And you'll just keep searching and searching and going from person to person and situation to situation feeling unfulfilled so maybe this is something cross watcher or sagittarius whoever's watching this video something that maybe you can kind of take the lead in in this relationship is you know to find the connection uh you know i'm gonna say together but each person finds their connection on their own but maybe it's something you guys are encouraging each other to do uh because and i, I want to clarify something when i say you know finding god or finding the higher power that's going to be different things for different people. I don't mean that you have to go to church. I don't mean that you have to believe in like a traditional kind of sense of God. I don't mean that you have to like get into tarot cards and crystals and the metaphysical. But whatever resonates with you that gives you a sense of um, fulfillment, a sense of like you're doing something uh, meaningful something with purpose you know maybe you all can like work together uh, to volunteer or help people who are less fortunate or, or, or do this kind of thing together um, and to find your zen in different ways you know one of the things I always say when eight of cups comes up you know I you know I'm just saying it like maybe it'll be helpful for some of you I grew up in the church I went to church three times a week as a kid plus on top of that once a week one hour of Bible study one-on-one -on -one with a Bible teacher uh, after school and I lived my life long time well into my 20s it wasn't until I was like in my 30s that I found God I found my higher power in a swimming pool I started going swimming I was depressed I was a lot going on but that gave me a sense of Zen I was like man if I go swimming I'm in the water it's so peaceful it's so Zen I feel just so happy I feel so uh, soothed and just doing that regularly before I knew it, I developed a connection. I, f I found a spiritual connection in that. So your higher power, your connection, it can be through swimming, hiking, music, art, um, you know, so many different things, activism. Uh, but this needs to be found for this relationship to thrive. I think a lot of you are manifesting a very significant person. And as long as you're keeping up with your self work on top of it, then this is going to be a great relationship. But if you or the other person's not keeping up with their self work, then it's like, man, like so close. But what's missing? What's missing? What's missing? Nothing's missing. It's just it's, it's that connection. OK, so I hope that's helpful, my dears. I'd encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos as well. Sometimes those resonate more than others. Or they might bring a, a, a different aspect uh, to your scenarios. Sometimes they all resonate, you know, but it's like, you know, added pieces to the puzzle. And guys, if you want a private reading, you can go ahead and click on the Calendly link and schedule a private reading with me there. Don't forget to watch your 2020 forecasts. Those are in the description. And watch the weekly readings on the channel, my dear, um, my dears, my darlings. Every week I do a forecast for each zodiac sign outside of love and romance. I do the love and romance 
uh, monthly. And then every week I'll do like career, money, you know, family, all the other important parts of life. So make sure you're taking advantage of those two. Uh, they're pretty short, you know, to the point and, you know, they're, they're helpful for a lot of people. So check that out as well, my darlings. And of course, the card of the day and the pick a card every single day on Facebook and Instagram, Amethyst Angelite. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm wishing you a fabulous January, my darlings. Take care.